Hi Sagittarius, this is Just with your October 2016 reading. I hope that you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So let's get into your reading. Now for some of you Sagittarius's out there, I do see that some of you are really holding on to your money. I don't feel like money is a, a problem. I feel like for most of you guys, money is fine, um, but you're kind of holding on to what you have because some of you could have been spending for during this Mercury and retrograde. Things have could have things have could have things could have um uh, come up broken um your electronics i feel could have gone on the kaput and you could have had to replace a lot of things or be in the process of having to replace a lot of things and now you're trying to find the right um just deal or trying to save up because you guys are anticipating having to replace something so maybe your laptop broke or your phone cracked or something uh that you know costs a couple of dollars so you're like oh damn now i have to you know buy this so now you're holding on to your money some of you are saving money in order for you to save up to replace an item um or get a better item um because of this mercury and retrograde there's been so many issues um and trust me, I've heard from a lot of people, there's been a lot of issues. Uh, and so um, I do definitely see that. Others of you, I feel like now this is a very transformative month. A lot of people are going through transformative times right now because the energy has shifted majorly and it's forcing everyone to kind of go with the program. And of course, it's usually by force or by choice. And it's in whatever area uh, for each particular person that needs um, attention. Uh, and for some of you, there's a lot of the mental state for Sagittarius is right now is, you know, that you're in the process of change, you know, the past where you've come from, where at whatever you've just gone through. And again, we're dealing with Saturn still in your sign. So, um, I feel like it's, I think they said that it's starting to affect people from December 3rd, if I'm not mistaken. But again, go to your favorite astrologer to get more insight about who exactly under Sagittarius sign is being affected through Saturn right now. Uh, good luck with that for those of you that, that that applies to. But I feel like others of you, even the ones now, but others of you, um, you have come from a past that you know is ex exactly that. It's your past. And you know you have to leave it just there, back there. And you know that now that you're transitioning, a lot of you know that you're transitioning in a major way. Like life is really getting ready to change for Sagittarius in a major, major way. And some of you are thinking about, I feel like in the month of September during this Mercury and retrograde, you guys have been contemplating, where do you wanna go in life that's gonna make you happy? What do you want to do in life to make you happy, that will make you happy, that will satisfy you? I feel like um, a lot of you have been in deep contemplation of that and over that, okay? Um, and I feel like some of you are realizing, hey, I want to move. So you're saving your money for that or I, whatever, dot, dot, dot. You want to make a drastic change in your life and now you are... Um, coming up with just the right plan to build a really strong foundation for you guys and it starts with your money but even more so I feel like gone on the days of you just like having this pie these pie in the stock sky um attitude about life no you guys are definitely very focused right now in the month of October you guys are definitely very practical so you're not spending money just to spend money no this is a month of saving money OK, because I feel like you guys have lost money in the past. Again, you your mindset has changed so much. It's not even funny because you have your eye on the prize, period. OK, so it's going to be a lot of saving of money. Now, um, here's the thing. As it relates to the workplace, OK, I feel like some of you guys are really thinking about, again, what will make you happy? Where, where does that, where would that be? What does that look like for a lot of you guys? And I, I do see a lot of staring off into space or just having these quick, but very, um, not, I was thinking therapeutic, but I want to say um, quick, but very um, penetrating thoughts. 
laser like a, a laser quick thoughts going through your head of like I want to do this or you know when I you know by this month I'm gonna do that or you know that like things going through your head almost like a computerized um uh, pace like quick things while you're doing something like you're stopping for a second and you're in your mind you're going through a thwick a thwick a quick thought of um I want to do this or maybe I should do it this way. So it's a lot of kind of quick, but very concise thoughts racing through your mind of how to get things done. Um, I feel like anytime you're dealing with people, you're thinking about things in a very practical sort of way. So this month is actually gonna bode well for you as far as um, the way that you're thinking because you're not rushing. You're not rushing to speak. You're not rushing to act. You're not rushing to spend. It's like, uh, no, I'm going to, you know, the way that your mind is is processing. And it's like, no, I'm finding the best solution in the most practical, but most stable way to handle the situation quite effectively, actually. Um, so that's kind of good to see for a lot of you guys. Now, uh, this is not really going to be the whole work sphere thing because I'm not really seeing that at uh, for you guys. I feel like some of you are going to be very... Um, removed from work like you're going to do your job but you're going to be very much into yourself like into your own thoughts like you, you guys are getting serious about where do you want to be and if that job is not where you want to be it's like okay now where do I, where else can I go like that's what's on your mind now because I do see that there is someone possibly um I feel like there can be a contemplation for some of you guys um, as far as dealing with someone at the workplace, okay? Um, you, Some of you may be having an issue with someone particular at your workplace. Um, I feel like some of you may be... Now, some of you are thinking about leaving your job. You're not making enough and you're like, you know, I have to leave. OK, um, or someone like something could have happened at the workplace and it is up to your manager or someone to evaluate the circumstances situation. And after they've done a lot of contemplating, they've decided to um, separate. Now, so for now, for some of you, you may hear out of the blue that your manager particularly a man, okay, or someone of authority at the workplace, if you're saying like, well, there are no men at my workplace, meaning my direct supervisor isn't a man, like you may be saying this to yourself. It could be you hear of someone at your job who's a, a man, okay, that has an authority. Um, you may hear that this person is leaving. They're leaving the job and they're going on to something new, okay? Um, and... Uh, some of you might be shocked by this. So someone someone at your job in, in a significant position will be leaving the company. You will be hearing about that, okay? Um, some of you may have decided um, under no uncertain terms because this is something that you've contemplated for quite some time that you're like, you know what? I'm out of here. I, I can't do this anymore. Um, you may be feeling that way. Like, you know what? I know I'm not going to stay here for much longer. I'm going to leave. But it may take you four months before you're able to actually say, okay, I'm going to leave. Okay. Before you actually leave. But you know, you know, you, you're becoming more and more clear that this is not the place for you. Okay. Um, because I'm seeing serious transformations for Sagittarius's, like it, literal endings, okay, and new beginnings, okay, but it's not happening in the month of October, it's just you guys are coming more, becoming more and more clear of where your new beginnings will be, okay, um, after there being a lot of contemplating and not really sure and just kind of asking yourself, eh, where do I want to go, eh, you know, that type of thing, because deep down inside, you guys know that you have great opportunities out there in other places. Some of you guys really can become very lucrative in your own practices, okay? So for some of my Sagittarius's that does, they cater, to, they provide services for people. Deep down inside, like some of you guys have your own business. You're doing really well with your own business. And if you put 
um, as much attention into your business as you are slaving at this job or whatever, it's like you're going to make 10 times more, at least three times more, at least three times more. Let me see. Three to five times more you could be making from what you're making at your regular job if you were to consider doing something really just focusing on the business that you have or starting a business of your own, okay? And someone may advise you of that. Someone may be like, what are you doing here? Like, you don't need to be here. You could do so much more with yourself, that sort of thing. Like someone may have said something to you um, that gave you, that woke you up. Like, you know what? You're right. I don't need to be here. And, um, I'm going to start really focusing on my business, my work, my, you know, myself, because again, for a lot of you, there could be several, uh, businesses that you could run of, of your own and be quite lucrative. In fact. Okay. Um, now I do see that, this work, because here's the thing, as it relates to work, I'm not going through the whole, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, because really at work, it's just all about you guys having to come to Jesus moment with yourself. Like what, you know, what do a lot of people are having at this month? So this is like a come to Jesus moment month for at least the signs that I have been reading for uh, the past few signs I've read for so far. Um, this job is such a burden. This job is a burden. And I remember saying this to you guys last month. I think it was you guys that I was saying is that this job. Yeah. And you were trying to contemplate if it's even worth it. Okay. And in this month, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to get a lot more clearer. But even though I don't necessarily see you um, something now, now. Okay. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but it's a huge burden. So a lot of you, although it's, although it's very, again, like I said last month, although it's very necessary. And I feel like for the most part, it's not a problematic situation. Like the environment is, is fine enough. You know what I mean? Um, and they're okay with you. Like they, you know, it's a good bond in the sense of it could be there for quite some time, this job, but with it comes a lot of work. And again, I keep feeling disruption to your everyday life. Like this is all that you can manage to do is this job. Like it literally, literally like I said last month, whatever it is, is all in, all encompassing and all can, all consuming of your life and it is in some ways i feel affecting other areas of your life okay and that in and of itself i feel is having you guys um really taking stock as to how valuable is this to me like how beneficial is it for me to uh carry this on and continue to do this um because i feel like some of you might feel like um you're going to be worried. Like there's going to be some type of worry. I keep getting some type of authority figure. Okay. Um, some issue with an authority figure or even more. Now, now that's a very tiny, small, small percentage of you having um, an issue with an authority figure at the workplace. And because of it, you may either be asked to leave or decide, hey, I'm leaving. Um, but that's a very small few of you. For the most part, a lot of you are worried that you're not going to be able to get control over your life. Like, I just feel like it's so much work and you guys have so much to do. It's as if you guys are having a hard time trying to figure out how do I gain control? Okay, how do I get to a place where, you know, I have everything that I need, I'm having my abundance and all of these things, um, and basically all coming from me, like I don't have to go to a job, I don't have to go here and do that and do all of these things that's like you feel may feel like it's unnecessary, like, you know, sometimes I would imagine being a Sagittarius can be very all encompassing, having so many things all the time to do. Uh, and it looks to be that way at this time. And I feel like, um, again, the month of October can be quite the stressful month in trying to, again, um, figure out how do you gain control over your life? I feel like that's kind of the the pinnacle point of trying to gain control, um, not being so serious. I feel like this um, Saturn has done a number of on you guys where it's like you, you don't have any mojo. It's like, where's the mojo in Sagittarius where well, you guys are the mojo? You know what I mean? And it's like, um, 
someone I feel is stymieing you or you're being stymied because it's so much work and not enough play, not enough social time, not enough ability to do the things that you want to do. And it may be altering your natural positive state, if you will. But never you mind, because I do see that um, things will get better. I feel like it's going to take some time, though. I, I, don't, I definitely is not having it in the month of October. Um, but I feel like you might have peaks and valleys of feeling good and feeling more hopeful about the situation. But for the most part, it's going to be this heavy reality of life. Um, and I feel like particularly those um, Sagittarius that's dealing with this direct Saturn transit, again, go to your... Um, most trusted astrology to help you out as far as the degree and the date of whom is being affected the most uh, but I feel I keep getting like this heavy Saturn energy that it's like all work no play and really saying okay I can't like something has got to give because I do see at the end of the month some of you are going to be walking away um trying to get away from a situation that you feel is not serving you emotionally the problem is is that you're not going to be able to walk away from it so some of you that are wanting to leave your job and say hey i you know what this is too much some of you may be have your own business you're in school you're working some of you may have children like you may have like a, so much stuff on your plate and you're like you know what i, I can't you know, I just can't, I have to let something go, but you'll find that it's not going to be that easy to let it go. So if you might be saying, okay, I want to leave this job. Well, you're not going to be able to leave it in the month of October. Um, and just be very careful because whatever this thing is that you feel like I, you know, is draining me, is taking everything out of me. Um, I don't want you guys to start to get into a negative place because again this thing that you have aligned yourself with is all encompassing and it's a little bit too much to deal with okay because if you have it you can deal with it but again you just have to find the time management is going to be very important for you guys because even through my shuffling um I, it's just a lot it's just a, so much going on so much energy in you guys there's a lot going on it's gonna be quite the month to to deal on an emotional level it's gonna be quite the month and i feel like emotionally some of you guys are like you know i can't deal with this anymore but then you're not going to be able to leave so whatever it is like i said you're not going to be able to get out of it in the month of october but the advice here now the advice is for you guys to align yourself with something that is beneficial, okay? Um, and when I say that, if you know, like there needs to be a balance. So again, if you're working very hard, listen, find some time, okay? Now, come on now, you have to find some time. Find some time to just have moments for yourself. I don't care that you have a business and you're in school and you're working and you have kids and you're dealing with elderly parents and, you know, whatever the thing is, whatever the, the number of things that you have. Even if you can steal away 30 minutes a day to meditate, because that's the first thing that I was feeling very strongly um, with shuffling your cards you need to meditate you need to meditate you need to get still you need to get quiet i'm surprised i didn't see the temperance card out come out because you guys really do need to feed that other side of you you know you you as a sagittarius you have gemini as your opposite sign so it's very important there's still a duality within to you guys too okay and if you do not keep yourself balanced then you can fall into a shadow side of yourself, which is overindulging in whatever that is for you, okay? Um, and I see that because you're trying to walk away from something that is so heavy, you might find yourself walking into something that um, can lend itself to be even more of, um, it's almost like jumping out of the fire into the fire, uh, jumping out of the frying pan into the fire, 
okay? So be very careful about walking away from something um, because you're very emotional, okay? Um, I feel like the best thing for you guys to do right now is to, again, balance yourself out, uh, meditate, um, or put back into yourself, okay? Do a lot of self-love, have a lot of, you know, because I feel like your one-on-one -on -one relationships, for the most part, would be really good. Um, I just, outside of these couple of, like, I feel like there's, could be um, some problematic issues with um, authority figures uh, to, to an extent, I feel, um, particularly men. There could be some problematic situations for some of you. Uh, but I feel like, um, I don't feel like for the most part, a lot of you don't have to worry about um, a separation of a job of, or any kind. Um, I feel like there'll be a choice. And again, if there's anything that's lost in this month of October, trust me, it's only, it's a blessing. It is a blessing. If you, if, if somebody like, what? Leave, lose my job. That's a blessing. It's a blessing. Leaving your job, again, may not be the best, but if you're forced to leave and go someplace else, just be very careful. So again, I would not necessarily go and leave and move to someplace else right now. Not in the month of October. It is not good for you. Because if some of you guys are like, you know what, I'm leaving, I'm relocating. I'm le Meaning you've just decided that now, okay? Um, or because, meaning if you're, ha okay, this is what I'm going to say. If some of you are leaving to go someplace else to get away from a situation that has affected you mentally, it is going to be uh, problematic for you. And that will be the jumping out of the frying pan into the fire. You need to stay where you are and allow whatever these feelings and energies that you're going through in the month of October, let it sift through you. Because on the other side will be good things, but you have to allow this part of the month to kind of like happen because it's calling for you to get balance in your life. You have very powerful cards, very, very powerful cards, a dichotomy, in fact, um, of good versus bad. That's pretty much what you're dealing with, good versus bad, okay? And they're both equally powerful. And I feel like um, in order for you to um, have the good, you kind of have to deal with all of the work 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 of all of it right now okay because to walk away from it is only going to lead you directly into the bad and i hope you guys are listening to me um you guys usually do but i mean i hope that you guys pick up on what i'm saying in this month because again like i said before when i was doing previous readings for you guys and i said um no rest it has been on for you guys ever since then because I know I've heard so many people email me confirming it and just people in real life, real time telling me it as well. So, um, yeah, it's still much of the same and it may, this month may be all, too much to bear sometimes, uh, but just allow it, just get through it. Just just get through it because again, um, this isn't the month to leave by choice now if you're forced to leave then you know um that's something totally different but if you are leaving by choice hold off for the month of october okay now as it relates to love because uh i'm trying to get through this quickly because we're already at 24 minutes i cannot believe this and i haven't even talked about love um so now, as it relates to love, um, I don't know how I do this all the time with Sagittarius. I just get into this matrix of, of readings with you guys. Okay, so love life. Um, this is screaming two people. Two people. Two people with two people. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Sagittarius, you guys are definitely dealing with... My ladies are dealing with two men and my men are dealing with two women or however it goes for you okay um i feel like some of you were in la la land daydreaming about someone 
all through September, probably previously, but you know that it's over. You know that it's over and you've kept like you've kept your boundaries like you have not um, you've not reached out to this person. I feel like you guys are on the outs, but you know that um, you've been still thinking about the person, ruminating about the person, this, this thing. And, you know, you still have feelings for him, but I feel like this person right now is, this person was probably acting very cold to you at one point. And this person, whoever he is, um, so I'm not going to say, oh, he's a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius because he could be any sign. He's just someone that, um, I feel for himself right now. He's a bit cold. He's, he's, um, has taken on more of an air energy. So he's not in his feelings right now. He's more in his thoughts. He's like probably over. Th no, I don't, I'm not going to say he's probably, he's overthinking things. Okay. Where you guys are feeling on an emotional level, he's very much processing things very mentally okay very much mentally processing things i feel like for a lot of my sagittarius's you guys have gotten to a point of um like i can't think of the word i want to say like um almost on the side of stubbornness kind of stubborn um you know that regardless of how you're thinking about this thing you know that it's over and you know that you have to keep your distance you know you do okay and i feel like you've cut off all ties some of you have cut off all ties of being communicated to and communicating to this person okay and i feel like this person whomever he is he's in your heart so he's that one the one that's in your heart um the one that you really have feelings for um because there's two of them now there's two that i see but the one that really has your heart okay with this this separation you guys not talking he has really been thinking about this thing for real and he's he's heartbroken by it he's really kind of heartbroken by the separation you know so don't think he's not because he he is and he's definitely um so th like i said this could be any sign so don't say oh he's not a gemini it's any sign he's just taking on the energy of an air sign because he's been overthinking of this thing so he's really been thinking and i'm not just saying that because he's in the the one card there's several cards i have out here um he's been over overthinking this thing and really processing this thing a lot of a lot of for a long time um and i feel like he's been taking a lot of alone time with himself um sifting through and processing this thing and i feel like you know possibly um at this point maybe for the past three weeks if you guys have been out on the past three months um so if it's been you know the past month i feel like for the first three weeks he's was going through it so just know that he was going through it but now he's at a point or, or he will very soon be at a point of like okay i'm gonna start over again i'm gonna leave this alone and i'm just gonna and i'm 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 gonna start over okay um uh, because really you were suspecting that he um he has someone else that there was someone else in the relationship um uh, whatever this was that you guys had had excuse me um there was a lot of um there was someone else okay um and some of you may not be contacting him because you're pregnant mm -hmm. some of you are pregnant mm -hmm. some are of you are pregnant and you haven't told him yet why because you're with someone else and you're stressing out because you know if you tell your man and he, your man doesn't play now your mate because this is the other person and you, the person in your heart yeah he's the other guy but the person that you're home with yeah your your real person he doesn't play and you're very much nervous because you're like if i tell him um i'm gonna lose him i'm gonna lose my man or some of you are like i don't even know who's the father <laughs> mm, 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 mm. and this has been quite the burden on uh some sag ladies out there and, and you know um some sag men 
know that this other woman, she's pregnant. And some of you could have already gotten a reading. Somebody told you that you're pregnant. Oh, yeah, you're pregnant. Oh, is she pregnant? Then she's pregnant. Mm hmm. OK. And it's like some of you, some of my Sagittarius men could be hearing this like, you know, somebody got somebody is pregnant so the person you're with they're pregnant they had a one night stand with someone you know and they're pregnant okay um some of you may be about to hear from if you're getting readings that sort of thing that some of you are pregnant okay um and i feel like again others of you so aside from this pregnancy thing others of you i feel like there is this you knew there was someone else. Somebody could have told you through a reading. So some of you who have gotten a reading since could have um, been told that, hey, you know, there's another person. Uh, and now you're at this point of, again, sifting through. So this is a month of sifting through your feelings, your emotions, processing the situation with this person. Um, some of my Sag men, you're, you're now taking on a, a air sign energy because you have really, um, you have a lot of love for this woman. OK, but there's two women here, too. So some of you have not been talking to the one woman and you have had to process, again, your emotions um, through this last three weeks or for some of you last three months. But now you're at this point where it's like, OK, I'm going to I'm going to move on, you know, um, and someone could have told you. Like, again, some of you could have gotten a reading and someone could have told you that, hey, you're getting ready to meet someone and that sort of thing. Um, but I would not move on to anyone again in the month of October. I would not do that. I would wait because, again, moving on to someone right now, you might find yourself getting locked into someone that is not going to be easy for you to get out of. And it's going to be quite the karmic relationship. Like some of you are literally moving on into a karmic relationship because the relationship that you were dealing with with the other person, albeit it was a it was a very blessed relationship like you were like some of you have relationships that are beautiful soulmate blessed relationships but for some reason it's a burden on you you may feel like it's not really what you want um you know it's it's not doing it for you it's a burden okay and who you want to move on to is very karmic and it's not going to lead down any roads that's beneficial for you and what's going to come out of it for some of you guys is trying to creep off to this one night stand person um is going to be a baby that's what you're going to get <laughs> and that's what's going to be hard for you to leave alone <laughs> with this person um, some of you are younger and I could definitely see some of you telling your dad, Hey dad, I'm pregnant and scared as crap to tell him that you're pregnant. <laughs> um, yeah, some of you are definitely pregnant. So be careful. It's definitely, definitely you guys are going to be hearing some pregnancies going on in the month of October. If it's not you, you're going to hear somebody else is pregnant. Um, in the month of October and I feel like some of you are going to be getting that from readings from actual readers saying hey you know yeah she's pregnant yeah you, by the way you're pregnant that type of thing uh, so be careful with that um, uh, others of you again I feel like you're sifting through energies some of you could be dealing with some problematic situations with um, an ex-husband um, a father of your child, that sort of thing. And I feel like there's just two people that some of you are dealing with someone that you have this emotional connection with, but again, you guys cannot be together. Although I feel like this person really kind of wants that relationship with you. They do want to be with you, but for whatever reason, it's like you guys, it's karmic. For some of you, it's karmic relationship, but it's, it's a weird, here's the thing. And I know I said this last month and I'm going to say it again, because that's what I see. It's a weird situation because it's one of the most powerful feelings that you can have for someone. It is beautiful and toxic all at the same time. It is the most beautiful soulmate connection and the most toxic uh, soulmate connection all at the same time and some of you now some of you that's that one thing that you're sharing with someone and then others of you um 
It's those two different people and the person that you have the most beautiful union with and will continue to have a beautiful union with. They may be boring. They may be a burden on you. But then the other person that you really want, this person is just like a fling. That That's all they see you as is a fling. And, you know, trying to walk off and go off to be with them is literally going to be jumping from the fire pan into the fire. OK, so again, it is sifting through this energy of who's who and what is what and what you're going to do. But I don't feel like a decision should be made in the month of October. Now, that being said, going to what the end of the month for my Sagittarius is be very careful. OK, I'm going to say that. Be very careful. Um, what are we at? We're at 35 minutes and that's where we are. Uh, so be very careful. I say that because at the end of the month, I see you emotionally doing your best to try to walk away. And I'm telling you, it's going to be hard as hell because whoever this person is now, some whoever this person is that you're not around at this time, trust me. You're going to be going through over this person that you're not around over this time. And you're going to be trying to get like almost some of you are going to be going through withdrawal symptoms. That person has been going through withdrawal sy symptoms. OK. Um, and I feel like you're going to be trying to walk away. But in walking away, some of you are not going to be able to walk away and you're going to walk right back into that person. Others of you are going to be doing if you really do stay away from the person you're going to be smoking, drinking, shopping, indulging, doing things that you really should not do, going against your own well-being, again, to try and sustain and stabilize your emotions. Because again, I keep feeling like you have so much on your plate, so much going on, and then love is going to be the focus. Emotions is going to be the focus for you guys in the month of October. And it's as if, it's like, I can't, time managed love like I can't like I'm not even dealing with somebody like I ain't even dealing with nobody I'm not even dealing with anyone it's like these are people from my past okay but it's still calling for you to deal with it so some of you be like I don't why am I feeling this way like it's going to be one of those for some of you it's going to be like this internal spiritual awakening like okay it's time to change time to end this time to make decisions time to feel it like that's what you're going to be dealing with it's some of you it's going to literally be like getting over drugs but it's going to be an emotional getting over it's rehab you're going through emotional rehab i don't mean to laugh i don't mean to laugh but you know you guys are going through emotional rehab and that's probably going to be tagline <laughs> You guys, you guys are going to go through emotional rehab, period. Emotional rehab. You're going through it. All right. And along with all the other stuff that you have going on, <laughs> now you have to go through emotional rehab. Sorry, Sag, <laughs> you know, but you know, I do feel like it's going to prepare you guys for something amazing down the line, down the line. It ain't happening now. I don't even, I don't even think it's going to happen in this year. Um, but down the line, down the line, I feel like definitely is going to make you guys feel better, but you gotta get, you gotta get through these people or this person, but I still feel like it's two people going on for most of you. You gotta kind of get, you're going to have to deal with this. I, I feel like with the work and all of that stuff before was changing and the money was coming in and the work, it was like, oh, this is great. And you guys weren't even thinking about love. And it's like, what the hell? Now all of a sudden this love stuff is coming up. Now you got to deal with this. So yeah, emotional rehab, get ready. But like I said, remember, deal with it as best as you can and do not succumb to any of your shadow sides. Don't overindulge and fall into any of that stuff trying to get through this. Because again, what did I say? The advice is balance it out by again, aligning yourself with things that are beneficial for you. Okay, meditation exercise, eating right, that sort of thing. So again, channel that energy. You actually have, the great thing about it is that you have the opportunity to choose choose which side of the road you're going to walk on. It, it doesn't just lead you to one road. You, re you really can choose the better road. It's just going to take a lot of work. 
So with that, that is your reading. Let me know in the comments below how this resonates. I'm sure you guys will. And um, if you um, resonate with it, with it, excuse me, again, leave a comment below. I've just repeated myself. And if you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And subscribe as I, I will be back very soon. I can't talk, Sad. You hear me? I can't talk. Um, I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, guys.